19th of January 1942. After a short refit, U552 is now fit for service and is ready to head out on a new daring mission. U552 has had a improved conning tower design installed, the Term 1. This includes two extra 13.2mm Breeder AA guns. To test this out, U552 has been assigned to head south towards Gibraltar. Command has decided to create a small minefield along the western coast of Africa to disrupt Allied shipping. Gibraltar is a major base for the British and a port of destination for multiple convoys. We have chosen it as a target for our mine lane operation. The Red Devils have been assigned to Sector CG-92, just on the mouth of the Gibraltar Strait. We are to lay mines to disrupt the multiple Allied convoys that sail through these patches of water. This is going to be extremely dangerous, as the port of Gibraltar not only houses escort ships, but also an airfield. So you can expect oppositions from the sea and from the air. Good luck. Hi everyone, welcome back to you, but here we are with U552 on her weekly patrol logs. We are here, coming down towards Gibraltar. Gibraltar's dead ahead of us. Kinda. All the matter to the Gibraltar Strait is. Um, as you can see, it's raining, it's, it's quite foggy, and there's a bit of a lightning storm going on. It's a bit of a storm, which is perfect. It's coming up to 5pm. Um, in the winter months it's dark, so uh, we should be able to do this mine lane operation in the dark, which is just perfect. It's exactly what we want, really. So as we're getting drenched out here, nothing picked up on the radar yet. We're closing in on the location where they want to start this minefield. Uh, we have seven mines aboard of this ship. But first and foremost is to get this minefield laid, or the start of it anyway, and, uh, and see what takes us from there. I, I expect we may get a bit of opposition from the um, patrol boats around Gibraltar, probably torpedo boats, rather than destroyers or corvettes, but you never know. I'm sure there's destroyers and corvettes patrolling around here, but I'm, I imagine there's a lot more torpedo boats. Uh, this st electric storm will, sh well, should keep the um, majority of the air patrols away from us for the moment, which is good. So, at the moment, all things seem to be in our favour. So just a little bit further now, and then we'll start the mine lane operation. Okay, we can start to see what looks to be searchlights, potentially. Um, so what we've got a bit of a challenge. We've got the torpedoes. Um, but they're in the tubes because they were loaded first. So what we need to do is expel one of the torpedoes and load the mines into the torpedo tubes. So we're going to have to um, dead fire a torpedo just to get rid of it so we can start moving the mines into the tubes to uh, be set out here on the ocean. Okay, here we are. Here we got the mines being prepared to... Uh... Can't get past them. Can I? No, I can't. Uh, they're just um, prepping them to go into the torpedo tubes now. Uh, so, um, for the space of one torpedo, you can get three mines in. Um, so, yeah, we'll be dropping these mines off. We've got these loaded into the front and the rear. And as soon as they're ready, um, we'll get these start uh, out of the boat and uh, start laying them. Not quite done this yet. We've got to make sure not to uh, steer ourselves straight into it, because that would be a bit of a problem. But, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Uh, the time it's taken us to load those mines, it's uh, it's daybreak and the weather has calmed down. So, oh, we've got smoke on the horizon over there. So we've got to get this mine laid, this minefield laid um, pretty quickly. Can we see what that is? Could be a merchant ship. Not quite sure. Um, anyway, let's get these these mines laid, um, and uh, we'll get a move on. Okay, we've got some smoke on the horizon. All mines have been laid. Um, we've got the confirmation here. Mine launching complete, skipper. TMB mines recently planted by us nearby. 
TMB mines are designed to arm after a few days. They have a magnetic detonator which is triggered by ships larger than a U-boat passing above them. Uh, for both reasons, they don't pose a threat to our boat, which is fantastic. So, um, yeah, we don't have to worry about sailing straight into them. But, um, right. I th is that the only... We've got a couple of smoke on the horizons behind us as well. Almost behind us, anyway. So, oh, and one directly behind us. Um, we have turned around, so that is Gibraltar over there. So that most likely looks like a, a destroyer or something. Um, these two over here. That could be a destroyer coming for us. That could be. Let's uh, uh, let's um, periscope depth, and uh, we can then have a look at these at our leisure. Auf e auf Seerohrtiefe. Okay, that ship in front of us is indeed a uh, a corvette. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking? Do we hang around here to see if the uh, we've got another one over here? Do we hang around to see if they trigger the uh, the mines? That could be a thing, couldn't it? Can't see that one. And those two. Although they may not arm for a couple of days, so that might not be worth waiting around here. So uh, these all looks like um, destroyers or corvettes. So um, let's get the heck out of here. Just for confirmation, it looks like we've got three torpedoes. Two in the front, one in the rear. So we haven't really got much uh, armament with us. But what we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll hug the coast to see if we can find any uh, coastal merchant ships sort of sailing up around Spain and, and uh, Portugal and see if we can give them... A shock, um, but for the moment we need to just get away from these uh, escort ships which are coming out to play. Hi everyone, we've been moving away from the uh, Gibraltar Strait entrance and um, we've stayed submerged with the snorkel up and it served us quite well. However, there's just been smoke on the horizon. So we just pop, there it is, look. It's a lone ship. Let's have a look, what is it? It's uh, some sort of Empire ship. Um, can't quite see the flag, but it's red, so it's more, most likely going to be uh, British or something like that. Let's see if we can identify it. Um, I don't think it's a coaster. It's going to be a uh, Empire shine type ship. Probably, do you reckon? Or that? Probably an explorer, I think. Judging by that, so let's recognise that. Uh, we'll do a speed check, and well, maybe we'll get a little bit closer when it does a speed check, and we'll do the range when it gets a bit closer as well. Uh, but we've got. Um, I won't let us. Let's just pretend. Let's just stick some stuff in here for the moment, just so we can have a, a look at um, the torpedoes. Yeah, we got two torpedoes. Uh, well, one's gone into maintenance now. Important to note that these are T3 torpedoes. We've completed the research and we've got T3 torpedoes. Only two of them, mind, but um, we're going to have a play with those. So we'll let this ship come forward towards us and uh, then we'll set up an ambush and at least we can get some prize to take home with us as well. Okay, we've gone a bit closer. The um, flag shows that this ship is uh, Port <laughs> Portuguese. Um, which is a bit of a challenge for us. So, um, the Portuguese are, st strictly speaking, neutral. However, we do know that they are closely linked to the UK and they were still offering assistance, if not officially, at this time. Now, if we were to have an attack here, would that spark a diplomatic incident? Possibly. I think probably our best course of action is to surface the boat and inspect this ship. If we do find war materials or anything suspect, then we get carte blanche to uh, sink it at our own discretion. So, let's do that. Let's um, move towards her. 
surface the boat. Time for an inspection. So this freighter is unarmed and seems not to be escorted and flies a neutral flag. The prize rules allow us to sink such ships only if they are certain they are headed towards an enemy port. If we lack such certainty, ideally we should investigate what it's carrying and uh, verify its destination by performing an inspection. We would, however, have reason for to feel certain that the ship is headed to an enemy port. We may communicate right away that we intend to sink them. Right, let's send a delegation aboard. So we'll send... Um, navigate. The captain's got navigation, so we'll send the captain. Uh, we've got the Jürgen... Um, he's got demolition, so he could be useful. Um, what else do we have? Uh, we've got a new sound guy with us. Um, Theo. Uh, sorry, um, where is he? There he is. Uh, Bloom at the bottom there. Edward Bloom. Uh, he's coming out to get some experience. Uh, he's got a diving ability. He's got a diving course, so uh, should we need to dive down to retrieve anything? He is our man. Um got navigator there what we really need merchant let's send a merchant just so he may know the uh, the comings and goings and trade routes etc right let's send them over what do you need officer, what do you need, officer? merchant deck plumbing the deck a few climbing the deck your crew faces a cold welcome from a cargo ship's crew what do you want asked the captain in German, without exchanging any pleasantries. This is a neutral ship and you shouldn't be here. Well, at least there's going to be no problems with communication. Ask the captain for the shipping documents. Mm -hmm. You ask the captain for the documents that state where the cargo is loaded and with the ship and where they are heading. He was ready since he had these documents already prepared and hands them to you right away. It looks a bit nervous when you carefully analyse the document's contents. According to the documents, the ship has um, his direct from Liz Port of Lisbon and transporting food. If these documents are correct, the ship is not involved in the war effort and sinking it could lead to a diplomatic incident of some degree. Uh, if you have a suspicion that something is wrong about the cargo and claim destination port, you can try and put some pressure on the captain to check his reaction. Uh, he's uh, heading away from Lisbon. Um, he's actually heading towards Gibraltar, so let's put some pressure on him. Um, we've got merchant and navigator options. So we could A, make up some claims, or with the merchant skill we have from our, one of our officers, state that with confidence that such cargo is not normally carried to the port of Lisbon. Food. I don't think we can, with any confidence, suggest that they never import food into Lisbon. Um, but with the navigator option, state that the course doesn't look right and you're travelling to the port of Lisbon. That's probably the best option. The captain is surprised that you make such a claim. Without any sign of hesitation, goes to the map and shows you that the course is actually correct. No, you're not. You're, you're heading away from Portugal. Unless the port of Lisbon is not in Portugal. <laughs> Which so maybe it's not the port, the city of um, Lisbon. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's somewhere else. It's like a small territory or Portuguese owned, perhaps. I don't know. Um, okay. He seems to be right, apparently. Well, maybe, should we go for that? Why not? The captain explains that the cargo is actually completely common for freighters headed to the port of Lisbon. Food. He continues to tell you about the companies that usually trade in such goods. Okay, seems to be okay then. Well, we'll leave it be for now. Let's still um, search the cargo hold. The captain confirms that you can have a look if that's what needed. He invites you to uh, follow him for a short walk. Right. Let's begin the search of the cargo hold. The cargo hold. An officer from your group looked around the freighter accompanied by the talkative sailor. He shared his view on the war and told you about his uncle, the married woman from Hamburg. Yes, of course. Let's um, view the transported goods. It is indeed foodstuffs. Fine. For this one, you win this one, Captain. You may keep your ship and you may continue to head to the port of Lisbon via Gibraltar, whatever you're going. We'll return to our ship. There we go, back on board. Right, off he goes. Fine. Still not 100% convinced, but... Um, if you have a look at the map, you can see he's heading south... Oh, hang on. 
Oh, there's the port of Lisbon. We're further up than I thought. I thought we were down here. I thought this, this crag was this crag. Yeah, he's going exactly where he, he said he was going. Fair enough. My apologies. I didn't know where I was on the map. I thought I was further south. Whoops. That could have been a huge diplomatic incident. But thankfully, we um we prevailed. And uh Yeah. He know he knows we're watching. That's basically what we need to know. Right, let's head back. Okay, we've received a message on our way back to port. Smoke plant spotted at Naval Square BF seven one nine. Fast speed. Northern course. We are currently performing surface repairs and won't intercept. So let's see if we can uh, have a look and see what this is. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we were unable to locate that um, contact which was reported by U1106. Um, but we've um, followed the course trying to northerly course that the city was going on uh, we've always made it up to Ireland to be fair um, but we have spotted another merchant ship on its own heading towards you know, the western ports of the UK so um, what we're going to do is look to uh, get ourselves into a position where we can have a shot at this one uh, we've got a couple of, torpe couple of torpedoes in the forward tubes as we've already established and one in the rear also got the deck gun don't forget so I'd like to be able to at least sink a couple of ships before we head back to port uh, so we'll start setting up for the ambush and uh, I'll bring you right back okay, let's go up a little bit further let's get her locked in let's have a look yeah I mean, they've already found out the uh, the flag which is good right let's get her identified she is uh, Empire Tower get that recognized we can do a range and speed check and set her rough course. Over there, that's just under 3,000 meters. Speed check, probably going to be 7 knots, but a lone ship might be trying to gun it a little bit quicker just because they're on their own. Wouldn't blame them. She seems to be going that fair old lick, actually, doesn't she? Almost through half the ship already. Yes, it'll be nice to get a, a couple of kills before we go back. Otherwise, it's just a. Oh, seven knots, that is seven knots. Okay, fine. Uh, her course is. About that, I should say. Right, so we're going to allow them to come a little bit closer. We're going to make sure this is set right. I think it's about there. Oh, hang on, let's put it on the forward tubes, so that'll be helpful. Um, work out the uh, the tracking a little bit better okay there she is um, Watuka has been identified the name uh, coming up for the best point to fire now now we have two torpedoes T3s let's get tube one oh, And let's wait until the um, perfect angle is almost available to us, and we'll get this ship, uh, we get this torpedo fine towards the ship. Okay, we're almost coming up to the perfect shooting solution. Fire, you guys.
wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Okay, a good kill there. Um, we've got potentially a couple of boats of survivors, so we're going to go offer them some uh, to come on board or offer them blankets and food and that kind of thing. We're not too far away from the Irish coast, so I'm sure they'll send some um, rescue vessels out in the near future. But anything we can do to make them a little bit more comfortable to survive until that time, we shall do, because we're not monsters. Um, so yeah, we'll couldn't go and deal with them now and um, we'll continue on we've got a couple of torpedoes left I'd like to get another ship if possible um, before we head back to to port hi guys right we've got the um, the lifeboats here uh, and literally we just had a cry of an aircraft so I've manned the main gun and we've got the first officer manning the oh, from that side of the oh god I think that's long thank god They've probably just... You you boys okay in there? They've just literally dropped depth charges on their own boys as well. You've got, you got, you got the breeder. 13.2mm firing away. Let's uh, improve the chances of us moving by speeding up. Don't blow people's heads off, boys. Yeah, duck down, that's a wise move. Well done. Watch out, your back of your head's gonna get hot any second. Right, we'll come back for you boys, don't you worry. Yeah, we've put you in danger by um by doing that. They may come in for another strafing pass. Hold your fire. He's long gone boys. Wait till he comes oh, and still firing. Why not? New toys, eh? Okay. Um, we've actually turned around and we're heading back. He's just circling around now, so uh, he's probably reporting our position back. Um, so we're just coming over back to the life raft to sort of try and offer them some assistance. I was, because it's only about 120 meters deep here, I was going to send the diver down to see if we can recover some of the um, the cargo. Uh, if this sh aircraft gets out of the way then we might do that but um, that could be a bit dodgy at the moment right so we are gonna send the diver down the aircraft seems to have bugged out for the moment so let's send the diver uh, now we've got where is he here we go Edward Bloom is a trained diver so we we'll could give him that off you go good luck son Okay, after being lowered into the ship's deck, it took a few minutes effort for Bloom to open the bulkhead to the deck house. Once inside, he entered a compartment with galley and various um, accommodations. Nothing specific drew his attention aside from a particular fish awkwardly trying to eat chicken that fell out of a refrigerator. Right, let's um, move into the engine room. Edward Bloom arrives in the engine room of the ship. There are a few bodies of the crew lying in the corner. Uh, let's move to the cargo hold. You're in the ship's cargo hold. Let's see what tra they were transporting. Building materials. Iron ore, lumber. Oh, well, the lumber's going to be ruined, isn't it? So, well, we don't have any room anyway. Look at that. We're all stacked up on, on space. Iron ore. Could be useful, but the U-boat is not particularly designed to... Um, transport 88 tons of I don't know what that is I don't know what that is. don't actually have the weight that's just the stack limit is 50 oh, that's t that, okay so that's 880 tons of uh, whatever this is iron ore so yeah okay um, we're not going to there's nothing useful here I thought we might oh aircraft detected right let's get him up and let's get out of here Got him. I didn't get him. Uh, one of our gunners got him. <sighs> Diver's still coming up. We had to. I couldn't move the ship. That was terrifying. But he looks like he's going down. That boat's empty. We finished that one off. 
Oh, when I said that, finished that one off. We've um, all those guys came on board, so that's an empty boat now. So that's okay. There's a few left over as that aircraft crashes down. A few in there, so we're going to leave them with some food and stuff. Once our diver is back on board, crikey, we'll just get the hell out of here. We're chancing this a little bit, aren't we? Okay, we're sailing in the cover of darkness on the surface, and look what we spotted. Another lone ship. Uh, I think the sea is right. The skies are right. It's a beautiful evening. Oh, there's two. Oh. We've got smoke on the horizon. Only spotted one. The sun will be coming up soon. So, uh, we could do a torpedo attack on this one, and then chase the other one down with a deck gun. Or we could just deck gun and go wild on the surface once again. Which actually sounds like fun. Okay, it's the Empire Manor. And it is indeed an Empire Tower. I assume that's doing... Let's just get its range. Always feels a little bit clunky when you're doing this with the Uzo. So used to doing it with the... Um, the Periscope. She seems to be motoring, motoring fairly quick. Eight knots. Okay, not too fast. And she's going across us like that. Right. Okay, we've gone past the best point of firing. So, shoot three. Flood, and we will fire. Then we'll man the deck gun and uh, chase this torpedo in. Fire. There you go. Ground torpedo from the surface. Not something we do very often. Right, now, number one, man the deck gun and uh, let's charge in. Okay, we're sailing in. I'll have a look in the deck gun optics to sort of see if the torpedo is going to hit the target. I think it should have hit by now. Or well, the next few seconds anyway. We're not going to count down. It's one of these new expensive T3 torpedoes which we fired, so um, I'd be slightly annoyed if it we missed, but what can you do? Oh, we did just to hit it. It was going um it was going in front. Maybe she was only doing seven nuts and we miscalculated, but there we go. Fire's breaking out. Beautiful. Help it along with a few shots as well. I think she's going. The bad looks to be going under. We'll help it along. A few holes to let the air out so the water can flood in. There goes a crane or a mast or something. Boom, beautiful. Where's the other one? The other one's over there, which we'll charge to try and catch up with. We've only got armor-piercing shot. That's all they had in port. So that's all we got. Uh, we're out of torpedoes now. We've got one in the rear, I do beg your pardon, but... Uh, we'll just keep on with the, uh, the gun if we can. She looks dead. It's just that matter of trying to get her to sink now. That's going to sail over. We just got the half slightly wrong then. Lots of holes down her hull. She's got to be gone. Fire and deck. There you go. 
Shots around the funnel always get fires going, and that, that is quite a fierce fire. That should get her sunk. There she goes. I think. Alarm cancelled. So, let's um, make heading for this ship over here. Intercept speed, and see if we can gun that one down as well. Okay. By the moon, there is the other ship. Oh, it's Swiss. In the darkness, I can't see that flag. Why are they in UK waters? I think this is a smuggling vessel. I'm not going to try and confirm it with an inspection. We're going to be reckless. But after this, we will be um, going straight back to port and uh, reporting it to say, oh, look, you know, they were sailing with a British convoy. You know, what can we do? Caught in the crossfire, maybe? Who knows? Well, they put the fire out. Okay, there she is. She's, um, she's still going. Oh, do you know what? Let's go and inspect it. <laughs> It'll be laugh. Right, this raider is unarmed and seems to be unescorted and flies a neutral flag. We haven't sunk her yet. Um, okay, let's send a delegation to the freighter. I got I got a sudden attack of consciousness and I thought, oh, I do not want to be starting a, uh, a war. Who's the one with the merchantile? Navigator... Merchant, there we go. Hopefully the boat will still be there when we send these guys over. Oh, she sunk. <laughs> Bugger. Well, there you go. You try to do the right thing, and um, it sinks. So what we can do, uh, once she's uh, she's sinking, once she's um, uh, settled, we we could uh, perhaps um, go and r have a look to see what they had in their hull, and uh, yeah, we haven't got any more room, unfortunately. Here, have some. Yeah, have some canned beef. Or canned bread, I beg your pardon. There you go. Okay, right, we've got a bit of a, an issue here where we can't send the diver down. I'm not quite sure why. It kind of bugged out. I think it's because we had the, uh, the, the group ready to go ahead and do the inspection. And then it's not given us the option to send the diver down. Um, oh well. Uh, we may never know what was in that Swiss uh, ship. We, we Half of me thinks, should we just get rid of these... Uh, bystanders here because they are witnesses to uh, what happened. Uh, hopefully my favourable treatment of them will uh, bode in our favour. Um, I think that's probably about time that we started heading back to base before we get in any more trouble. So let's do that. Let's head back to port. Uh, Felix Swartz receives a new decoration, the U-Boat War Badge with Diamonds. This decoration is awarded to crew members who participated in eight war patrols. This decoration was instituted from the personal uh, initiative of Admiral Donitz. So, campaign objective has progressed to the next phase. You have mined the predetermined coordinates at the Strait of Gibraltar. It's a credit to the command that everything happens as expected. Well, good job, Skipper. Thank you. It sounds like we can go down and do another couple more mine-laying uh, missions down there. Which we may do. It was relatively straightforward, wasn't it? Meantime, the Watuga was sunk. This ship was recognised, uh, registered in Canada and was carrying raw resources from Sydney to Liverpool. 
its gross registered tonnage was 4,630 tons. So that's the the lumber and the uh, the iron ore, wasn't it? The Empire Manor was sunk. This ship was registered in the UK and was carrying utilities from Liverpool to Gibraltar. Registered tonnage was 5,761 tons. Here we go. The Mel Oja was sunk. It was registered in the UK and was carrying utilities from Liverpool to Freetown. Its gross registered tonnage was 6,006 tons. The ship flied the fl false flag of Switzerland. Yes! <laughs> yes! I told you. I told you that was too suspicious. Uh, I knew best. We got lucky. Well, no, we didn't get lucky. I, I, You know, there was everything to suggest that that was not a Swiss ship, considering Switzerland is a landlocked country. Um, Yeah, it was never going to be, was it? So, um, yeah, I'm glad that we were able to uh, sink that. I'm sure Switzerland does have some trading ships. Of course they do. They probably have them in ports in Germany or or France or or Italy perhaps who knows but um either way um we didn't get into trouble so there we go mission summary um 16,397 tons uh, of merchant shipping was sunk 15 days 12 hours at sea um 5,782.4 kilometers traveled so the Watuga was sunk uh, 4,630 tons. A Bristol Bowfighter aircraft was shot down. Uh, Empire Manor for 5,761 tons. And the Maloja? Maloja? I don't know. Uh, 6,006 tons. Fantastic. Uh, we reached our destination. We planted the 18 mines for the minefield. And we left the area without causing any ruckus at all. Fantastic. Well, another mission down. Uh, another successful entry into the logbook of U552. Um, we've got some improvements to add next time. We've completed our research on improved toilets, so that will certainly be added to the boat. So we'll get another little short refit for U552, and the Red Devils will be out with fresh new toilets before you know it, which will be fantastic for the crew, I'm sure. Um, something a little bit different this time, a mine lane operation. It's good to mix things up, uh, and we'll see where... Well, our next adventure takes us wherever the BDU sends us, I suppose. Join us for that. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.